it's a really interesting view of the institution because it's like taking the head of the Death Star and saying, can you make, right? I mean, Sally right. Krawcheck was here today and she just walked up to me and began to choke me and she said, this is for my daughter who's 17. <laughs> uh, and, and I want to acknowledge that the College Board, you know, again, we have to admit our past we've seen as fostering that, not diminishing yeah. it. Tools like SAT and others are seen as part of that kind of industrial complex of unproductive anxiety. And so I want to first confess that, that I'm very concerned about it. And, and so, so what do I think it takes to break it down? The first thing you can't do is say you're going to get rid of anxiety altogether. When I say unproductive anxiety, you know in athletics, there's a productive kind of game sense of the day. You're going to perform something important. And it accumulates through practice. So what I can do with SAT is make it entirely open. We just released, for the first time in our history, a 200-page set of sample items the full blueprint of the exam, two years in advance, yep, you can find it. Uh, you know, and when there are no secrets, you cannot sell them, I might add, right? So, so by democratizing practice and giving that open to everyone, can I replace this unproductive anxiety by saying, you are going to have to practice things, and they do matter, but they're not consequential because they're on the SAT, like these words are important because they're there. No, because you're going to use them widely. Or right. you, you get it, kind of the yeah. whole shift. I think it then gets into deep questions about the inauthenticity of college admissions. You know, it's bad for everybody. At the most wealthy, it's these highly priced coaches. And what worse thing could a wealthy parent say to their kid than you're not good enough as you are, and I'm going to hire someone to remodel you for going to college? And the middle class who envies that and kind of imitates that, and lower income kids who are then left out of those. So you should expect of us that we will do everything we can to dismantle that climate. I think this moment of going to college is really formative in kids' lives. It's in a moment of announcing who they are and who they might be. And anything the College Board can do to make that a more authentic expression of their fuller self is, I think, very in our interest. And anything we can be alert to where they betray themselves, we should be.